Hello friends, we are sitting here at the base of what is known to the locals as Jebel Musa. This mountain was first discovered by Ron Wyatt in 1984. The evidence is all around us that this is the true Mount Sinai. Now I know there are many proposed locations for the mountain of God, but this mountain here in the land of Midian is the only one that matches all the biblical evidence for Mount Sinai or the mountain of God or another name is Mount Horeb. Now on modern maps, this is known as Jebel Makla, which is one of the peaks in the Jebel El Laz range in northwest Saudi Arabia. This is the land of ancient Midian, where Moses fled to from Egypt, where he kept care of the flocks of Jethro and married Jethro's daughter Zipporah. Now God told him when he came here and saw the burning bush to bring the Israelites to this mountain to worship him. And we have in front of us a huge encampment that would fit the biblical account for one to two million Israelites plus their animals and the mixed multitude. Now we are sitting on one of the marble pillars that uh, Ron believed King Solomon had set up. Ron White discovered these pieces of marble when he first came here in the mid-1980s. In 1985 he found on one of the sections written in ancient Hebrew the name Solomon, the mountain of God, Moses. And so he believed because of these key words in ancient Hebrew that King Solomon actually set up a marble shrine dedicated to the mountain of God at the base of Mount Sinai. And so we are sitting here by this structure that many believe to be where the animals came in before they were sacrificed. And experts have looked at the shape of the structure and said it definitely fits what a corral would look like where the uh, cows and other types of animals would come in and then turn down towards where they would be sacrificed. The Saudis excavated and found ashen layers at the base of Mount Sinai. So we believe that this would be the altar that Moses built. Now where we are sitting is also a dry riverbed, a stream that would have come down from the mountain during the time of the Israelites. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses writes about this stream of water that came down from the mountain. And this would have given water to the flocks and to the people who were camped here for 11 months at the base of Mount Sinai. Well, this stream of water would have flown right beside the altar of Moses. This dry riverbed is just to the left of this animal corral that forms part of the altar of Moses. Right behind me is another uh, feature of the mountain, and that is this cave we know as the Cave of Elijah. And this is at the very top of one of the lower peaks. And it's the only cave on the mountain. If you remember in 1 Kings chapter 19, the prophet Elijah fled Jezebel and he went to Horeb and it says he stayed in a cave. So we have all these key pieces of evidence that match what the Bible says about Mount Sinai or Mount Horeb. Up here in the mountains, it can get very chilly in the shade. And so we're just gonna warm ourselves by this nice big fire that the Bedouins had uh, built for us. There you go. Got it. Oh, now it's recording. Why is it recording? <laughs> it's recording. It's okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello. Hello my friend. It's still, you see, it's, it's recording.